Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rika Rampit, and today I will be presenting a review of recycled concrete aggregates as a sustainable construction material. Presentation overview. I will take you through the introduction, structural applications, microstructure and physical properties, mechanical properties, durability properties, treatment methods, some existing codes, current investigations, and then we will conclude. Introduction. Where did the use of recycled concrete aggregates all started? Well, after World War II in the 1940s, there was an excessive amount of construction and demolition waste, and there was an urgent need to dispose of such waste to rebuild structures. Hence the idea of recycling surface, more specifically to recycle waste concrete to produce recycled concrete aggregates, RCA. Initially, the recycled material was used for low-grade applications such as a base course material and foundation backfill. Together with this, the concrete is the world's widely used construction material due to the increase in urbanization and industrialization. A vast amount of concrete is being used for structural developments. Every year, about 20 million tons of concrete is used globally, leading to a large amount of carbon dioxide emission, exploits natural aggregates, consumes a large amount of energy, and also generates a vast amount of construction and demolition waste. Structural applications of recycled concrete aggregates. For example, the Brie office building in Woodford, UK utilized over 1,500 cubic meter of recycled aggregate concrete supplied to foundations and slab. Another example, we use the wall spiral residential building in Germany also utilized over 1,500 cubic meter of recycled aggregate concrete for structural elements. After the 7.0 magnitude earthquake that struck Haiti in 2010, the country is currently recycling the waste to rebuild staircases and retaining walls. Microstructure of the recycled aggregate concrete. The image on the left shows an image of the recycled concrete aggregate. It consists of the original aggregate, the ITZ, which is the interfacial transition zone, which is the weakest link within the matrix, and the all attached mortar, which consists mainly of fine aggregates hydrated and unhydrated cement particles. The oil attached mortar is very porous with cracks and pores on its surface, which has a higher water absorption, lower density as compared to a natural aggregate. On the other hand, the image on the right shows a typical cross section of the recycled aggregate concrete. When the recycled concrete aggregate is placed in a new concrete matrix, a new mortar layer surrounds the recycled concrete aggregate. Together with this, a new ITZ, which is an, an additional weak zone. Due to the inferior properties of the recycled material, this negatively affects the mechanical and durability properties of the recycled aggregate concrete. Mechanical properties of recycled aggregate concrete. Untreated recycled concrete aggregates was used to produce recycled aggregate concrete specimens to test the compressive and tensile strength. Recycled concrete aggregates from a waste recycling center was used as a 100% replacement, and it was found to reduce the compressive strength by 20 to 25% as compared to the natural aggregate concrete. Another study mentioned that pre soaking the recycled concrete aggregates retained from the demolition debris resulted in a 23 to 31% decrease in tensile strength when 100% forced recycled aggregates were used. Durability properties of recycled aggregate concrete. Well, what is durability? Durability is the ability to withstand significant deterioration over a long period of time. This is an important factor of concrete, especially when resistance to weathering, chemical attack, and abrasion is of priority in reinforced concrete structures. But in this example, re reinforced aggregate concrete Recycled aggregate concrete, sorry, specimens were cast and compacted into 100 millimeter cubes and allowed to cure for 28 days. After 28 days of curing, all the specimens were submerged in seawater for eight hours and removed for 16 hours every day to simulate a tidal zone in the marine atmosphere. It was found that with an increase in the recycled concrete aggregates replacement and a longer duration time exposed to the seawater resulted in a decrease in compressive strength as compared to the natural aggregate specimens, as we can see from this table. Treatment methods for recycled concrete aggregates. It has been found in the literature that several treatment methods can improve the properties of recycled concrete aggregates, one of which was acid treatment. 
Crash recycled concrete aggregates from the 20 year old demolished structure was soaked in hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid, which gave an increase in the compressive strength when used to form recycled aggregate concrete. There was an 18% and 20% increase for the hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid treated specimens as compared to the natural aggregate concrete specimens at 28 days of testing. The acid removes part of the attached mortar, which decreases the water absorption, hence showing improvements in the compressive strength. What are some existing codes for the recycled concrete aggregates? Several countries have developed specifications for the use of recycled concrete aggregates based on available material within their respective countries. For example, Hong Kong uses 20% of uh, recycled concrete aggregates for 35 MPA structural concrete. However, Germany utilizes 25% replacement for grade 30 to 37 structural concrete. Current investigations for recycled concrete aggregates. It has been found that the size of the original aggregate or natural aggregate affects the amount or the depth of the attached mortar of the recycled concrete aggregate. Within this study, different sizes of natural aggregates were used to produce recycled concrete aggregates. The recycled aggregates retained would be used within the new concrete matrix to investigate the mechanical and durability properties. Would you like to recycle concrete? A new study in, in indicated that discarded concrete becomes even stronger than it was before when wood waste is added to it. The ideal proportion of concrete and recycled wood was significant to acquiring concrete with the most toughness. Wood receives its rigidity from lignin, which is the very cross-linked polymers. In this circumstance, lignin fills the gaps in the concrete and functions as an adhesive within the mix and waste concrete powder and heated. This produces a new building material, produces bending strength superior to that of the original concrete and reduces the carbon dioxide emissions. In conclusion, the mechanical and durability performance of recycled aggregate concrete are generally inferior to in conventional concrete. True pretreatment methods such as the use of acid and fine mineral fillers have shown to enhance the density, water absorption and strength in the eye disease. The use of treated recycled concrete aggregates is viewed as a sustainable construction material, which can be used as a replacement to that of natural aggregates. Some gaps. There is a need for more depth understanding in recycled aggregate concrete to fracture energy and chloride ion penetration testing. These are some lists of some references. I thank you for your time. Are there any questions? Yes, we have some questions. Sure. Um, okay. First question. What does research say of the recycled concrete gradation to the structural behavior of the concrete? Oh, well, it depends. Um, it depends on the source of the recycled concrete aggregates. So it would vary based on the source and where uh, the researcher would have gathered the waste concrete from. And from there, they would uh, allow the recycled concrete aggregate gradation band to fall within the natural aggregate gradation band, after which they would go about the testing with regards to the uh, structural elements. And from there, uh, they would have done analysis with regards to uh, beam testing, etc. Okay, we have another question, Rika. Sure. Did, did you encounter any works pertaining to impurities when recycling the concrete using the mentioned acid? And if so, how did they eliminate those impurities? Uh, not exactly. Mo uh, they would have done a, a test where they would have soaked the recycled concrete aggregates in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, sodium hydroxide for a period of time. And it's more of an observational uh, test where they would determine after a certain period of time of soaking the aggregates if there's any color change. But uh, as, as for any in-depth uh, uh, testing, no. Thank you. Um, next question. Sure. From your work, the static strength seems to be enhanced. Is the fatigue strength similarly, similar, similarly affected in that way? Can you repeat that question? 
from your work, yeah. the static strength seems to be enhanced. Mm -hmm. Is the fatigue strength similarly affected in that way? Um, as, as for now, uh, from the research, I, I didn't come across uh, that. So I don't have the answer for that at the moment from the literature that I would have read. Okay, uh, we have another question. Sure. Um, any energy differences when recycling the concrete versus creating virgin concrete? Can you repeat again? Any, any energy mm -hmm. differences when recycling the concrete versus creating virgin concrete? Interesting question. Well, uh, as, as for the literature, um, they would have mentioned that uh, generally that uh, uh, recycling would have reduced the amount of uh, energy used as compared to quarrying. But as, as for exact value or any in-depth uh, analysis on that, it, uh, I didn't come across as per the literature. Okay. Um, Professor Wei, do you wish to ask a question? It, uh, basically, uh, yeah, I mean, we have a couple of minutes, so yes. what I'm, uh, yeah, what I'm, I'm just trying to figure out that uh, there's a first question being asked on uh, that did you encounter any works pertaining to the impurities when recycling the concrete using the mentioned acid? And if so, how did they eliminate those impurities? Is this question being asked already? Yes, it was. Yes, yes, yes. it was. And, Okay, there's no more question there. So, okay, so I, I really have uh, one question just uh, related to this, like if, when you spoke about the uh, plan for the fracture energy testing, so how do you anticipate the results will be looking like, which is more like a question by uh, Dr. Bachu that about the fatigue strength, how does it affecting the fatigue strength? My question is fracture energy. How does, can I say that again? Yeah, it's similar question like Dr. Bachu, like is the fracture energy will similarly affect the way that it affected the static compressive strength? Uh, possibly, but uh, with more in-depth research and testing, then I'll be able to give a solid answer on that. Okay, thank you. No problem. Ms. Rampi, anybody has any question? Yes, I would like to ask Rika a question. Um, do you think this will be uh, another industry for Trinidad um, whereby we have recycled concrete um, because people want to sell um, their concrete when they demolish it and it will be another business industry? Do you think there will be potential for that? Yes, yes. Um, but as as for now, I would have uh, been investigating. I've been investigating the quantity of uh, waste or recycled concrete aggregates in Trinidad. However, from uh, contacting SwimCall and other uh, agencies, they would have mentioned that there's no set procedure to record the amount of waste per se. But uh, as as for now, they would have mentioned that uh, it's done privately. And uh, we don't have any solid records or information as to where the recycled concrete aggregate goes or what it is used for. But uh, once we figure that out and we have some solid records as to how much, then yes, it will be applicable to Trinidad. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for that interesting presentation, Professor Ray. Thank you, uh, uh, Ms. Rekha Rampit, and it's a great presentation.